uh, we, we would uh, forget stuff or we would uh, we wouldn't um, we, we would be late, not on purpose, but we, somehow we would end up like half an hour late for our own sets. It was just really embarrassing and like really like, uh, uh, you know, it wasn't um, like, we just didn't take it seriously. And mm -hmm. uh, I know that some people might think that comes with the punk. But that's not true at all. Like, like punk, some the punk musicians are the most serious I've ever met. Like, they uh, they're very serious about uh, uh, getting to the show on time, making sure everyone's there, making sure you get your posters up, making sure you get your uh, uh, you, the word out. Make, you know, all the all the bands paid properly. Like, I found some of these guys to be very serious. So I I would reject anybody's claim that punk musicians aren't serious. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, I wasn't. Like, definitely, that's what, I wasn't serious enough back then. And I and you know, but I learned a lot, and that's that's the important thing. Like, what I learned from um playing in these bands uh i like i have been able to absolutely carry forward uh i'm, I'm pretty good with equipment now for example mm -hmm. uh, like when i joined these bands at first i was just like i basically just a drunk kid with a bass you know what i mean like i couldn't like uh i, I couldn't uh i couldn't tell you anything like um like i couldn't work with the sound guys that well but now i know i would be able to do much more effective uh uh, communicating with the sound guys, for example, uh, I would back then I couldn't I couldn't negotiate with uh, venue owners. Now I could definitely negotiate with venue owners. Uh, not right now, of course, because coronavirus. But uh, mm. uh, yeah, I mean, it's all a good experience. And I, I uh, like if there's any lesson to take away from all of that is just uh, like as long as you learn something from it and you take it on to your next project and you don't you know you don't feel bad for yourself. Mm -hmm. I think I I don't believe in any uh, any experience is a waste experience. That's that's no that's that's really I, I just was thinking the same. It's kind of this all these experiences made you the person you are now and it's always you know with, with hindsight it's always easy to look back and I would have done this and that you know <laughs> ask you I think I'm a little bit older than you so don't ask me, you know, <laughs> I've been married before and all this stuff. So, uh, you know, in hindsight, I would have done a lot of things differently. But still, and I guess this is the good good point you, you arrived on, is all this may make you the person you are now. And now you can do things better. And, and like you said, I mean, you seem to have a plan right now. You have sanitizer. You, you want to conquer the Internet. You want to make a name for yourself. Um And, and you're doing the right stuff, you know, it's uh, it, um, it's an ocean of music out there. So it's really hard to stand out. But if you don't try, you will never, I mean, you, f you fail right away, you know, so oh, yeah. don't don't be dis uh, discouraged. Um, and, <laughs> you know, I, I know really only this one song from you. And I like it a lot. So um, I will put it in my playlist. And whenever you have new stuff, I, I will support you and we can do more interviews in the future. So um, if I can do my little part and then you will meet other people. And see, see that's maybe a, a good point I, I always stress is um, you're doing this anyway because you already talked about your brother and stuff. Um, collaborations, you know, just reach out to other, other people. There's uh, a few not so nice people out there you know uh, who really think it's a, it's a dog eat dog world and you know if if i'm if you're successful uh, i'm less successful and whatever i don't really see it this way because there is so much you know like like you said in the beginning there is there's a niche uh, and, and you know and this is the, the good thing on the internet that you i have my um uh my highest uh, listener count in Mexico. I've never been in Mexico. I've never been to uh, South America. Uh, okay, sorry, it's in South America. But uh, um, anyway, I never been there, and and I have listeners there. So you know, for some reason, they they found me. So that's that's the beauty on it. You know, you can uh, you said it in in the uh, b before that. Um, it's annoying and there's a lot of groundwork and grinding and stuff. But on the other hand, you and all the others have now the chance to do something uh, none could have done like 30 years ago or something. You needed a label. You needed someone to push you and to believe in you. And today you just need to believe in yourself and, you know, and hit slowly uh, the right buttons, basically. Oh, But you're, you're oh, in a good okay. way. Totally. And I'd like to touch on like um, how like just the business aspect of this whole thing. And, and I, I think I've been fairly fortunate. Um, and again, uh, if I'm rambling if I'm off topic or anything, let, let me know. But I think I've been fairly <laughs> fortunate. It's, it's our conversation here. Excellent. Excellent. Um, business, I've always been fairly business minded. Um, I, uh, 
uh, I, I've always, like, not in the sense of like, oh, how can I maximize profits? I mean, a little bit, but like, uh, I, I'll, I'll admit, but I, I, how do I explain this without coming off um, the wrong way? Like, I'll, I have many friends who maybe, maybe upload a one song a year because it has to be perfect, absolutely mm-hmm. perfect. And that might, and I, I can't speak for exactly how it was 20 or 30 years ago. Um, but it does, it does seem like a lot of people now just don't know how to handle the, 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 the new hustle where you're going to have to have something, you're, you, you have a lot of competition, there's a lot of reach, yeah, of course, as you point out, you have friends, in, you have uh, fans in Mexico, which is fantastic, um, I, you have the reach, but again, there's like, the competition is so crazy that you have to be a lot more business-minded than I think you would have otherwise, like, if, if you're just waiting to have the exact, the perfect moment, it's not going to come. I don't think it's going to come. Like the, uh, I think the perfect moment is when everyone's looking, and uh, and you have to try and like. For example, I uh, I submit my song um, to like a a YouTube channel who I've been I've been watching for a couple of months, and I, I've always really enjoyed the music there. And I felt my felt my song fit in pretty well, and I I submitted my song, and within one day I had like that song on their channel, not my channel, their channel. I mm-hmm. uh, had a thousand a thousand views, which was wow. I thought it's good. Day, Congratulations, oh, hmm. thank you. And and nothing in my time, as far as I'm aware of, nothing has ever received a thousand views in one day. Now, mm-hmm. not all the comments, like most of the comments were great. Like I had a lot of upvotes and stuff, which were great for great for the confidence. You're not going to please everybody, and that's another thing as well. I think we have to we're going to have to have thicker skin. We're going to have to mm-hmm. uh, in this new industry. We're going to have to be more tough mm-hmm. um, because there, be, with that reach, with that out that new reach that we all have they're gonna you're gonna find so many people who did not want to hear your song you're gonna find people who did not appreciate um what you you know the instruments you used or what or what you did they might have a very specific um uh, a very specific taste uh and yeah and, and now people are more for lack of like a better way to put it the more at risk to hear music i think that they didn't want to hear uh so you might have more assholes uh, come out and be very vocal about how much they didn't like your music, but you can't like, you have to be strong and mm-hmm. you, you can't let and, those and people. Also, like, and also, and also, the internet um, just you know, with, because you're sitting at home and writing this, you know, to to a faceless person, it's much easier. You know, it's like um, you know, the the bad comments. If they would tell me straight into my face, I believe it will not happen. Maybe only ten percent of the bad comments will be straight to my face. Uh, and you know, I don't want to intimidate or something, but um, you know, I'm I'm a very nice guy, and and I, um, yeah, I try to refrain from that. Even if I dislike a song, then I just don't listen to it anymore, and that's that's it, you know. So there's no point in listening to something I don't like, and then yeah. p- telling you how much I dislike it and whatever, you know. But you're absolutely yeah. right. I'm I'm completely with you. We need a thicker skin, you know, because before it was. You know, if you just think of little, um, like you were in your little town, you know, you had instant feedback from the crowd after you you got off stage and you know this and that and 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 now you get kind of the the feedback from from the world and and you in the crowd. The difference for me is, you know, they went there, they they wanted to see a show, and and they have this adrenaline, and they have you know they they have this feeling from this. But you know, somebody else is is munching some Doritos and and listening to your stuff, and is uh, I had a bad day, just was fighting with his wife, and uh, the kids are annoying, and then oh, and then he <laughs> listens to something that he doesn't like, and oh, I'm gonna hit <laughs> this guy. You, you you see what I mean? It's kind of. Yeah. Um, you, you're so detached from from the, um, yeah. You're so far away from 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 the real source of the music. Um, but anyway, you, you got a right point. We need to be tougher, you know, not not take it so seriously. Yeah, and as you pointed out, people can completely anonymous. Like nobody knows who is saying these things. Like it could be, it could be anybody. And uh, so, like. And as you point out, they might have had a bad day. They just mm-hmm. might be an asshole. Like they, like, uh, excuse me, if they didn't take the time to like come out to see your show, and they're just home, like, yeah, like the, they're going to be brave, you know? They're gonna they're gonna say some stuff, and it's just like you just can't take it seriously. Like, I, I, like I'll, I'll talk about something else that's not music for one second. I'll get back to it. Uh, my my partner, my wife, she's a uh, she's an author. She's a writer, and she has books on Amazon, and some of them are doing really well. And uh, uh, but then you have those people who just like for no reason. Just like they'll just give one star and not say anything. It's just mm-hmm. 
what was your purpose? Like, what, like, are you just trying to warn other people about this book, but you didn't say anything about it? And I guess it's like, uh, it, it's easy, it's easy for people to, uh, to be mean, I guess. And, mm -hmm. and again, that just gets back to my point, like, like, you know, screw them, like, whatever, like, have thick skin, just keep, keep pushing out the stuff, you know, what's good. Uh, what's this quote I heard? Like, if, if, if you think it's beautiful, maybe they will think it's beautiful. So you, 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 you post, you put this music out, if someone's going to be mean, just, uh, you know, just um, forget about it. You know what I mean? Just keep keep going. You know, it's, mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell that to anybody. It, it's it's so easy to be mean to someone online these days. It's just, it doesn't count anymore. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if the people are coming, and that's another thing too, if, if people are commenting and downvoting or whatever, that still boosts you in the algorithm. So I don't know what they're trying to prove here. <laughs> it's true. It's actually good. It's, it's, it's still bad publicity is, is still publicity. You know, we, exactly. we will still talk about it and maybe send it even to their friends. Look at this asshole, you know, he makes such bad music and then, yeah. you know, free pe more people listen to it and it becomes a yeah. viral sensation and, and we don't even know what we're doing. So, um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um,